Every big sporting event has its share of ticket scalpers, but Super Bowl 53 apparently had a real doozy. An Atlanta man has disappeared after allegedly ripping off people for perhaps as much as $1 million as part of a fraudulent ticket scheme. And among the victims, alleged victims include his own mother. Super Bowl tickets were at the top of the bucket list for these two diehard Patriots fans. This is an opportunity to go see Tom Brady live before he retires and before I die. Jim and Jane Comerford shelled out $10,000 for two Super Bowl tickets, but they never got them. Now police are searching for this guy, Caton Shaw, who's accused of a big-time Super Bowl ticket scam. Here's Lisa Guerrero. Shaw lives in this impressive house outside of Atlanta. After allegedly scamming football fans out of more than $750,000, including his own mother, Shaw simply disappeared, leaving his wife and his children in shock. Shaw owns this printing business, and we spoke to a longtime employee who asked not to be named. We were all shocked. I mean, everybody loved him. He was a very popular guy. Shaw's wife is still here running the family's printing business, but is too distraught to speak with us. I was told that she suffered a panic attack and was hospitalized after her husband took off. The police report says his wife believes Shaw took the money and went to Las Vegas as part of a midlife crisis. Best friends Alan Tart and Stephen Bethay saved up to buy tickets to the game. Each ticket cost $5,000 and we bought four of them, so we spent a total of $20,000. They showed us this letter that promises them the tickets in section 110, row 4, that would be around here. Pretty cool seats. What a view. We're thinking, you know, this guy's legit. We checked his background. We saw that he owns a business. Instead of seeing the game, they had to watch on TV, just like the rest of us. Shaw has not yet been charged. Authorities say he will face charges of theft by deception.